Hello, guys. Thank you for coming to Speech and Language Technologies Meetup Group. And this is our weekly paper reading session. Uh, today, I'm trying to uh, share a paper with you. Its name is Exploring Wave 2 Vac 2.0 Fine Tuning for Improved Speech Emotion Recognition by Li Wei Chen and his or her colleague, supervisor, Professor Rudnicki from Carnegie Mellon. Okay, uh, I think um, I have to say that the, the author is very smart. Um, this is basically uh, the researchers or the students uh, doing research at the university is facing. They do not have the computing resources uh, like uh, Google or Facebook. All they can do um, is limited to uh, the fine tuning a existing Web2 back or Hubert uh, uh, picture model. model. Okay, and, and uh, the author invented, uh, discovered, or um, proposed. Uh, 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 fine-tuning fine strategy is called uh, P tapped. Uh, tapped is is a something that proposed in the NLP domain, and the author improved on top of that. The P means a pseudo, I think, pseudo tapped, and it, it performs better than the tapped proposal before on the. IE mocap task, which is a speech emotion recognition task. And they share the code. That's what people at the university do. Uh, kudos to them. Um, speech emotion recognition, I would say it's a uh, fairly researchy direction in my personal thought. Uh, there's still a lot of things left to be solved. But it's interesting to see uh, these authors are trying to use the prediction model to handle the, the task. I think I didn't read uh, the the the, uh, the details of the task adaptive pre-training. I think I should read this paper. Um, I think I will jump to the pseudo label task that pre training I know proposed by these authors. Well, the first thing they also did, they mentioned that okay, uh, most of the time uh, when we get the, the, the emotion labels of the address, uh, it's on the address level, right? Uh, they, they say, um, based on this recording, this paper, this, this, this guy is angry, not happy, or happy, neutral, stuff like this. Well, these authors said, okay, uh, they, they, they think a frame level emotion states needs to be recognized, which means that they do want the, the emotion uh, label to have a, a finer granularity. In, um, I don't know whether this one makes sense or not because I, I do not work in the emotional recognition domain. Um, so this this is why uh, they propose a uh, a cluster based uh, assignment. How does the cluster based assignment work? Okay. I think this is what they do, okay? The first, send the speech into the wave 2 back uh, model and come up with a embedding representation, pass the CN layer. Then they got some latent representation of the utterance, frame level, or frame level by sample, okay? Then they pass it through uh, two point-wise layer, linear layers. And then they call this 
frame level emotion predictions. Okay, and then they they manage to con con connect this with the utterance emotional labels. Okay, now you can see they can do back part, right? okay, because they linked the, um, the 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 representations to the final utterance level emotion labels. They can do back part. They can update the layers, the single scene layers. No problem. And then the, this is the first stage. They they get a, what do you call it? Better latent representation. Yeah. And then they do K means clustering. Fairly straightforward, right? And they get um after this, uh they get cluster assignments. They call pseudo labels. Okay. Um once they got the pseudo labels, okay, um, they say, okay, now I can improve my wave to back model. How? You can see uh, this dotted arc to here. You can see, uh, remember previously when you train the wave to back uh, model, uh, you do you, you have to calculate the contrastive loss, right? Um, so I think uh, in their way, uh, the contrastive loss is left untouched, okay? They're, they're not doing that contrastive loss, I think. What they're doing is that um, uh, for the wave to back contextualized representation, they pass that through a linear heads, the linear layers, uh, and they also want to minimize the loss that is associated with the cluster assignments or pseudo labels. Okay, so they are trying to say, okay, uh, your way to vac model should not only learn the representation for my uh, CN layer input, but you should also uh, represent uh, something that can minimize the loss which is related to my cluster assignment. Okay. Um, I have to say, I, did, I read the paper today, so I still try to comprehend what they're trying to do. Uh, but my guess is that. Those pseudo labels represent a, a code book or a, a code book space. And they're saying that, okay, the emotions, the emotion states is encoded into this type of emotion code books. I think I read some art, uh, sentence somewhere in the paper. I think this is what they meant, okay? They, they want them, the cluster assignment to represent uh, as a, a pseudo label and that re represent the local emotional states. Um, you may ask well, what those uh, local emotional states represent, okay? Well, you can see those numbers doesn't mean that number can be directly uh, associated to happy, not happy, angry stuff. But let's do the analogy of this emotional states with the quantized uh, the quantized uh, sample that is used in the wave 2 vac 2.0 okay you can see the wave 2 vac 2.0 also learned a code book or code book space or something like this it represents some people call that speech tokens uh, you know or speech states or clustered speech states something like this uh, it's content based right this is why you, 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 uh, when you uh, read uh, when you read the wave feedback papers read the papers you keep you saying the words uh, context or contextualized it's context based representation okay and here uh, the author when they are talking about the Cluster assignments or those pseudo labels, 
they are regarding them as emotional code books or states. Okay. And the results, I think, it's fairly um, fairly uh, significant improvement uh, on top of the uh, topped baseline. Okay, uh, I will stop here. Uh, any questions? If there's no questions, thank you for coming uh, to the paper reading, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.